Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the Brick House Exchange. I'm your host, Eric M., and I have here with me today a special guest, a good friend of mine, Mr. Darren Smith. How you doing today, Darren? Good, man. Good. Uh, thank you for having me. You know what I'm saying? Definitely oh, yeah, pleasure. man. I appreciate it. Anytime, man. Right, my friend Darren here has a book that he just came out with not too long ago called 30 for 30. So what got you started, man, and wanted you, uh, uh, made you want to write this book? Um, well, like I said, first off, thank you for having me. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Um, for sharing your platform with me. I definitely appreciate it. Um, so, no, I, <laughs> I wrote this book. It was, I mean, it was an unfortunate situation that led to me uh, writing this book. So, um, in March of 2018, I was sentenced to 60 days <laughs> um, in jail in the Jennifer Road Detention Center, which is in Annapolis, Maryland. Gotcha. And, um, you know, that experience, it, you know, it was so it was so far removed just from my day to day life. I felt the need to document it. Um, most people, well, anybody who knows me, who's around me, mm -hmm. who's you know been around me throughout the years, they could they be able to tell you that you know being in a place like that is the most unexpected place that anybody could ever see me being, um, and for for whatever reason. So um, because of that, and like I said, because this experience is just so far removed from how I go throughout my day-to-day -day life I just felt the need just to you know just to document the experience so okay. pretty much um, all it is really is just a journal of right. uh, each day that I was um, that I was there so I just document everything from what I, from the day from the day that I got into when I was processed to the days that I was there everything from who I spoke to what I've read um, with the things that I spoke to with different people, the stories that I that I heard, what I ate, it's just literally just a day to day account of my experience um, being in there. You know what I'm saying? And it started out just as me just kind of just keeping track of my experience, just to have something to do. Right. Um, and then I was like, man, you know what? I think I can, you know, I can turn this really into something. You right. Know what I'm saying? Right. 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 Um, and then so actually, when I got out, what's funny is that. Um, when I got out, I actually, so I un only ended up doing about like 30, 35 days out of 60. Okay. So when I got out, my girlfriend, she bought me, she bought me two books when I got out. One of them was, um, it was Jay Prince's book, The Art and Science of Respect. Mm -hmm. And the other book was a book, it's a book by Lil Wayne called Gone to November. Okay. And actually that book was the same, was the same concept of this. It was just his his daily account of what he did while he was in jail in Rikers Island. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So definitely when I saw that, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely going to yeah. move forward with, yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? Tell your story. Absolutely. Man. Absolutely. That's what's up, man. Yep. So where can we find it, man? How um, can we purchase it? So copy? you can go on, uh, you can go on Amazon, Amazon.com. Just type in 30 for 30, the writers behind the wall, and it'll pop up. Um, you can buy it there. You can buy it on uh, Barnes and Noble as well on the Barnes and Noble website. Okay. Um, and like, if you do, if you have like ebook, like if you do read, you know, your books through ebook, you can get it on most ebook platforms as well. Okay. But um, you know, I tell most people just to go to Amazon because it's easy to find. Um, you'll see it has a lot of good reviews on it. Um, you know, actually, this past summer, the uh, our. The newspaper in Anne Arundel County is called uh, the Capital. My the story of the book was in the Capital. Oh, it's in it. Okay. Yeah. Big move. You know what I mean? So I was, um, and that's you know that's kind of a funny story because I was when I was when I put the book out, I, I put it out in like June of 2020. So once I made the announcement, you know everybody was hitting me wanting copies of it, whatever, right. whatever. And um, you know I was trying, of course, just trying to promote it as much as I can getting it out to as many people as possible. Right. So, you know, I made a couple calls to the paper to try to, you know, um, so after some trying, I finally got through um, and I talked to uh, a lady there and I was like, you know, I have a book. This is the experience that I went through. Um, and I sent her like the manuscript so that she could read it. And she called me back the next day. and She like, Darren, you know, this is, this is really good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She was like, I, I was kind of hesitant because I get a lot of people in the area, they write books mm -hmm. and, you know, they reach out to try to promote it and I'll read their, their material and it's, it's not good. You Trash. know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but she was like, you know, you're, you're, this was so good that I read it all in one day. You know what I mean? Um, 
So we had a, we had a quick interview, and from there, she told me that it would be in the paper, but I wasn't expecting it to, you know, to be on the front page and stuff the way it was. That's huge, so, um, so yeah, that was definitely a, a, a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Definitely a good look out to the Capitol for that. And um, yeah, so, you know, I, I just tried to just get it in as many hands as possible. But, um, but yeah, definitely Amazon, Barnes and Noble, you know what I'm saying? And okay. the ebook platforms are, are where you can get it. You know what I mean? Big yeah. stores. There you yeah. have it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Darren Smith, 30 for 30. Go cop. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. All day. Yeah. Appreciate you, yeah, man. Absolutely. Thanks for coming out, absolutely. brother. Absolutely. For sure. For sure, man. No doubt.